Hello everybody and welcome back to Pumpkin Days, where today I'm hoping we will get, um, I mean these look like they're growing very nicely, so I'm hoping that we, we are going to get a harvest at some point today. Also, we've still got our bits and bobs in our journal to carry on with. Visit the local restaurant, visit the ranch, the furniture store, etc, etc. I'm kind of thinking though that what might be best to do to start with is actually just to grab some zzzz. Grab some zzzz. So. Uh, if we go to sleep now, we'll be waking up in the middle of the night. Which isn't too terrible. But I think I'm happy enough just going through my quests, going through my tutorial sort of quests, and um, just waking up. So, eight minutes left. Two, three. Yeah, let's just do that and wake up at six in the morning. That's fine. Nice long sleep. So I feel like as long as I've gone to check what the seeds are each day at the moment, and I didn't have much money for anything else anyway. And I've got, I get the stamina to water everything. I imagine eventually I'm going to have to start making food in order to carry on doing my watering and stuff. Really? It's empty already. Need a bigger watering can. Or sprinklers. I like my tiny little garden though, it's very cute. Like I say, I don't know whether I'll hit the quota on the first season or not. I'll probably hit it on things like spinach. Probably not on things like milk and eggs. Gosh, that watering can holds nothing! Probably plant some more lentils and cabbages and stuff today. I'll go and water the trees first. I may as well water that, well water that spare slot there. I'll go and water the trees first. And I'll see how much energy I have left over after that to do more planting. And we'll go, we'll go like that I think. I'm still very much considering whether I actually want to grow coconuts or not, or whether I just want to scavenge them. Because all the other trees look really pretty and small, and the coconut tree looks like it's going to be massive. Should I dig it up? Yeah, I think I'm going to dig it up. I don't think I want a coconut tree. I'll find another tree to put there. Gosh, I do need better tools, definitely, because uh, even just watering is taking a lot of my stamina each day. But we'll get to that. Any more coconuts I can sell? Yes. So where's coconuts? See, at this rate, I'm never going to get my um, my farm cleared. But there's always a balancing act at the beginning of things like this. You don't want to spend all of your time doing your farm clearing when you don't actually need the whole farm, when you literally have a few plots. Because the plot's what's bringing you the money. There you go, some more coconuts over here. But yeah, it does seem kind of pointless, like, growing coconut trees, like, massive coconut trees in my house when, like, they literally just drop everywhere. If I ever have a coconut quota, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to fill it, so... Let's go for variety. I don't know if I've got enough to sell, though. How are you doing? The only time when I can get Nikki to slow down is when I get her to sit down for a meal. 
I have no idea where that girl gets her energy from. Okay. I have five coconuts. Which I can sell for about 25, I think. Unless the... There we are. So now we have 40 gold, which is probably enough for one more tree. Wood sells for five. Grass sells for five. That's fine. So we've got olives. Got cucumbers, got pecan. I think we've got lychee. I can't remember what I've planted now. I'm going to have to start writing it down. I know we don't have kumquats, 100%. No, we don't have that. They're spring and summer. Papaya, I know we don't have papaya yet. And that's also spring and summer. So we're not going to get a ton of stuff back off that. But if I see one that, that that goes through the fall, I will pick it up. But the idea really at the moment is to get the biggest range of trees that I can. Um, and then hopefully when they fruit, I'll be able to multiply them up. So that then next year, I'll have a ton of trees. You see. I know, it's a long-term goal, but it'll be worth it. You watch. So a papaya seed is 50, papaya is 20. That's quite interesting. I'm very interested to know whether if I buy this papaya or if I can get a seed out of it. Let's see. So that's really interesting, isn't it? Some of the tree seeds, if you actually just buy the actual um, fruit or whatever, costs a lot less. Because I got that for 20 and I should have paid 50 for it. How interesting. Have a nice day. All right, I'm gonna go plant my papaya now. And then possibly also my lentils and cucumbers. My cucumbers are not going to come into their own until like later in the season because it takes seven days to grow. Look at this dude. He must have really good tools because how on earth would he till all that? But then I imagine once you've tilled it, you don't have to move it unless you want to rearrange things. Which I, again, I may want to do. I think I need to cut those down. I don't know if my axe will be good enough to do it though. I'm just going to pl uh, plant my new tree though. Look at that my papaya tree. How are you supposed to know what you planted when they all look the same? I need like a little sign that I can put by each row. I know one is fig, I know I've got uh, an almond one, I think I've got a... Oh gosh, a little tiny bird just hit my window. How sweet! I think it's okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it, it's, it's good. I'm gonna use the rest of my um, energy today then just to dig a few more plots and uh, put down as many like, lentils and cucumbers and stuff as I can. Okay, we'll stick with four. I'll put down lentils. No, I won't. I'll put down cucumbers in this row. I haven't put down many cu cucumbers yet, and cucumbers regrow, so I should have been putting them down first anyway. Makes more sense. There we are. If 
four of those planted and I'm nearly out. And my first spinaches are ready, look. So I get to see. Uh, let's pocket that. Oh wow, I've got five spinach from that. I need to retill, but. Okay, worthwhile. So what I need to do with that then is to take two of the spinach. Well, I probably don't even need to do that, honestly. I can just sell them. I put them in my box. My shipping container thingy over here. The shipping bin. And ship my 10 spinach. Lovely. So let's have a look in the journal, see what else I need to be sending. Um, I forget where the... Ah, yes, the one with the carrot on it. Yes, that would make sense. So we've got potatoes um, planted, but I need to plant one more. They should take five days, so I should have them by the end of summer easily. Jalapenos the same. But yeah, you can easily, like, multiply all this up massively. So the next couple that, that grow, once I've done the quota, I'll um, start plowing them back in. The only thing I'm really limited by is my uh, stamina. And if it's the same with the sugar cane, I should have enough of that. So basically Eugene gave me enough to fulfill the quota to start with from the sugar cane and the spinach. As I say, the jalapeno and potato I'll have by about day 15, I think. I should have enough. Lentils might be a little later, but I've planted a lot of lentils, so actually probably in about five days they'll be fine. Cucumber, I'll have in like seven days. And then chicken, egg and milk, I just don't know how to ranch yet, so we'll have to see what that's all about and whether it's easy or hard. So why don't we go and check that now? Okay, I will do the local restaurant, the, the cooking first, because cooking might be the answer to all of my problems because if we get a lot of food coming out of these these um crops then the answer to all my problems might be eating some of them <laughs> let's go along to this restaurant and see about all of that and see how that works i'm super happy you get five out of a a plot though it's amazing Along here somewhere. See it on my mini map. There should be a restaurant. Aha! Why, hello! Oh, I like your wallpaper with the seashells. That's very sweet. Alright, Charu, I don't need to speak to you. I mean, I could. Haku, hello. How's life? Welcome, welcome to Wahoo Beach, where the sun always shines and the people are beautiful. I hope you feel right at home here. I do. Said I could do with cooler clothes. I run the restaurant here. Be sure to stop by for a bite when you're hungry. And the mayor asked me to show you how to cook. Now, I don't want to get jalapeno business. Jalapeno business. <laughs> That's a good pun. That is actually a good pun. Hell up in your business. But you really should eat to keep your stamina up. Yes, I should. I definitely should. Didn't want him to know about that. Combining things like crops, meats, and dairy into more tasty food can also prove more profitable than selling them separately. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal <laughs> if I have a little competition. Wahoo Beach is a big enough for two chefs. Now let's get cooking. I'll give you the ingredients to make pumpkin bread. Let's go over to the kitchen and find pumpkin bread in the recipe book. Talk to me when you're done cooking. Okay, pumpkin bread. Okay. Cook here. Cook. Okay, so we've got a little cooking menu here. Hopefully I'll be able to put one of these in my house. Oh, wow, loads of stuff. Look at the different amounts of things you can cook in this game. Wow. Okay. Oh. 
cooked pumpkin bread. Those timers are getting very little, aren't they? In some places. Okay, I'm done. That's what I'm talking about. I'm impressed anyone knows how to cook these days. You'll need to buy a kitchen from Duante at the home improvement shop if you want to do more cooking. Also, oh, so, oh, you also need a TV to learn new recipes. You can also experiment with ingredients if you think you know how to make something not in your recipe list. It'll be pretty hard to make though. Good luck, Peanut. No need to thank me for all the advice. It's the yeast I can do. <laughs> I love you, Haku. You're so funny. All right. Let's have a little look at this. Let's eat the pumpkin bread. See how we can eat and see how much uh, stamina we get back from it. Oh, wow. That was good. Okay, cool. So that means I can just use stamina to get loads more stuff done within the within the season. So I can just get a load of food. That's amazing. Oh, I'm just running everywhere, aren't I? Look at me. Yeah, so I could have been eating the maybe even eating the coconuts. I don't know. I'll have to try. I don't know what I can and can't eat at the moment, whether you have to cook things or, or what, but we could maybe try and forage things and see if we can eat them. So now we know how Eugene planted so many. He was eating stuff. But yeah, that's really good because I was really struggling for my stamina. So now I can plant more lentils and things. Let's go over here where we don't normally pick up coconuts. See if we can pick some coconuts up and see if they can just be eaten for a tiny bit of stamina. Okay, here we are. And grilling the fish, um, that will be good for stamina as well, as well as for selling. So we've got two coconuts there, let's have a look. So if I try and eat them. Can I eat them? Yes, I can. And I get a small amount of stamina back. Very interesting. Okay, so guys, so from the very get-go on Wahoo Island, you can absolutely pick up coconuts and use that to get a little bit of stamina each day. And then once you start getting... Ooh, what's around here? Palash Jungle. Ooh. Gosh, there's so much to explore. I was very excited once I saw that whole big map. I was like, oh my goodness. This looks so cool. Look how far this beach. Oh, there's more houses and things over there that I can go and explore and everything. Where am I off to? Oh, that's Spoonie Island. Over there, by the looks of it. Gosh, it's massive. There's all sorts of cool things. But yeah, definitely going to be having to balance eating the produce versus making it into seeds. And uh, making enough money for that TV. So I can learn recipes, because learning recipes seems like it's going to be a really important thing. Because there are a lot of recipes to learn. Very in-depth game, this one. Actually, I think it's going to be, it's going to keep me busy for a while. Shall we go to bed? Is it bedtime yet? No, we've got loads of stamina actually, so let's get that, let's get all this planted first. So we were planting cucumbers, so let's just uh, make some more space for the cucumbers. Didn't really find many more coconuts, but it doesn't matter. There's 
The sugar cane's ready as well. Nice. Now I think I may plow some of the sugar cane back in. I didn't with the spinach because I had a lot planted. But with the sugar cane, I don't really have the seeds for it, so I will plant them back. So I imagine, especially if I can make a few more of those chests, I can just keep buy seeds for things for the next year, so I won't even have to buy them. Once I've got one of everything, I won't even have to buy them anymore. It's taken a long time for me to get through all the quests. I don't know if that's normal or what, but... Uh, you know, I'm on like day five and I still haven't done all the starter quests. Okay, we'll plant some more spinach and then we'll do lentils. I'm not too worried about having things all in pretty rows and, and, and you know, one row of this and one row of that. At the moment, I will probably be more like that later on, though. Okay, that's all the cucumbers done. Let's water them first. It's getting a bit dark now. My watering can is empty. I may need to do the lentils in the morning. Got four sugar canes. So you sometimes get different amounts. And you've got five off that one. Oh, interesting. So we have a total of nine sugar cane. I'm going to take seeds from two of them plant them back in and then I will sell the rest or even eat the rest no sell the rest because they're on my farming quota I get extra money for them so we will sell things on the farming quota and things that are not on the farming quota we don't need to sell them The extra money will be really handy for seeds. And then once I'm done with getting loads of seeds for every, you know, spending... Oh no, I did have five. I was like, I only had four, but one was still on the ground. I think I might need to go to sleep. Very soon. I do still have a little bit of stamina left, so I think I'll just plant some lentils. No, I won't. I'm going to water everything. That's what I'm going to do. It's dark, so it's harder to see. These are quite easy to see in the dark now. And I'm kind of thinking from a zoomed out perspective. I'm liking the colour of it a bit better because it's really easy to see. So I can see the advantage to that completely. I'll plant a few. No, I won't plant lentils. I will water the rest of it. Gosh, so distractible. I could always, like, actually just plant in my uh, sugar canes down here. And just water them, and that'll be the last thing I do with my stamina. Oh no, I passed out. I think I might be in trouble. That, I pushed it there. I pushed it. You worked yourself too hard. You should be more careful next time. I have charged you 10% of your gold. Which is like four gold or something right now. Be careful now. Yeah, joke's on you. I only had 20 gold. <laughs> it's a bit annoying that I'm all the way over here though. And I lost half the day as well, so that's a bit annoying. It's raining today though, that's a blessing. That means I don't have to water anything. Woohoo! So we're doing very good, doing very good. I'm very happy. I want to learn to fish today, I think. It seems, I think, a, 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 a nice 
Well, we've got to learn about ranching and fishing today, I think. And then that'll be me through all of the initial journal entries. It's taken ages to get through them, but it's really good. Local ranch, and if I do the fishing, and then I've just got the, yeah, okay, the furniture and stuff to do. So let's do the, the local ranch first. Just over here, I think. So yeah, I definitely could have given myself an easier start. Um, oh, look at all this cool stuff. Wow. You've got a really nice farm here, Eugene. You really do. And all the fruit trees are fruited out. Oh my goodness. My farm could look like that one day. It would be so good. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I need to go to the local ranch. But Eugene's farm looks really cool. It is it is inspiration. I mean, it's, it's the usual. Uh, I'm the top farmer. I'm the top builder. Higgins, Jamie. You've got to have someone. And uh, in each of the maps, it's a different person as well. You've got to have someone for your competition. Gosh, someone over here's got a lovely farm too. <gasps> Can't wait for mine to look like that. And now I know a few tricks of the trade about my stamina and stuff and how to, um, you know, get extra seeds from the crops and stuff. It will happen quite fast, I think. Ah, you, come here. You are my quest objective. Come here, come here. Kane, hello, hummingbird. I understand that you're the farmer who has moved to Wahoo Beach. Charmed. I'm Kane. I'm employed at Wahoo Ran sorry, Wahoo Beach's ranch alongside my brother. He was called Abel. <laughs> when you desire an animal for your farm, please come to one of us. Oh, I suppose I need to teach you about raising animals. Talk to me when you're ready. Right now, right now, right now, before you go away. Let me teach you about animals. Okay, we are on a barn. Let me teach you about animals. Okay. Okay. Are you going to teach me about them? Okay, you need to purchase a barn for large animals and a coop for the chickens. You can get Duante to build one if you don't have any outstanding dirt. Animals must get fed once a day if they get hungry. For long, they will get sick. Okay, it's very harvest moony there. You must love them. Give them pets every day. They will love you even more if you use a brush. They also poop every day. Make sure you clean your farm, or if there is too much poop, they'll get sick. Here, let us take care of this cow. Clean the poop, feed her, milk her. Okay. So is that a poop? That's the poop. Clean the poop. Did I get a poop? Yes, I did. A poop sack. Well, at, least it's, at least it's in a sack. Was it this cow? I mean, this cow's called Bill. Did I get a brush or anything? No. Put the fodder in the feeding trough. Okay. There we are. What next? Collect some milk. Like milk from that white cow by hand. This one. There we are, that's done. Um, what next? No, I did. I got milk. Oh no, apparently I didn't. Is it on the floor somewhere? Sure how to get the milk. Oh, I see. Isn't ready to be collected from. Um, well, there's a white, completely white cow over there. Maybe that's the one I'm meant to be milking. Betty. Betty. 
Um, the right click for milking, left click for petting or something? Oh, there we are! You just have to pet and then immediately milk. It's like a double click sort of thing. That's going to take a little practice, but it's fine. Good job! Save up money and get some animals when you can. That's all. Okay, so I need to save up for a barn and then I'll probably get some chickens. Sorry, a, a coop and get some chickens and then a barn and get some animals and stuff. Right, so I got myself some milk, which is great. And some poop, which is maybe not so great. Don't know if I can fertilise my crops with that. Info. It's a sack of poop, not sure what else to say. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Who is next to find? Visit the furniture store again. Okay, let's do that then. I'm determined by the end of this episode I'll have this whole little quest chain done. And then now we can move on to bigger and better things. I believe this is still the tutorial, technically, so... I don't know if I'm going to need to maybe go and sleep. Yeah, I'm going to head back to my place and I'm going to um, hoe some more stuff out to plant these lentil seeds. And then I'm going to, you know, with the rest of my stamina and I'm going to sleep. And then the next day I'll do the last three tasks on the list. Coconuts for me. I won't eat them yet because I don't know if I'm going to need, need all that stamina, but. Let me pick you up. Let me pick you up. Stop being a naughty coconut. Oh, this is great. Look, all my spinach is done. Fantastic. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do though, any spare spaces I have, I'm going to put my lentils down. And I'm going to hoe some more spaces. Like I say, I don't know if there's going to be a particular good pattern. once I get better watering cans and things. But because when I pull things up, it gets rid of the plot, I'm even less worried about that now. It's not like you even keep the plot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's an eighth one over there, okay. I like how much you can zoom out as well, it's pretty cool. A lot of games you have to be really zoomed in like this and you're trying to do everything, but this you can sort of go from a much more strategic angle with it and you can see a lot of your farm, you can see what's going on. Um, nothing's too big to see as well. I, I really, I do appreciate that a lot actually. I like the fact that there's stuff to do with the cooking, you know, in, in Staxel, it was like, you, you didn't... It, it, the last time I played it anyway, I hadn't implemented eating. And there was just nothing to do with the food. There we are, so wonderful. We've got now 25 pieces of spinach that I can do whatever I want with. So I will probably plant back in five of them. Or maybe even more than that, and then I'll sell the rest. And we shall have money. We sell that milk as well, but I'll, I'll keep I'll keep five for seed, I think. 
I'm going to get a bit of money with the rest because then I can go and um, buy more different tree seeds as well. Okay, so let's sell that spinach. And the poop. We can have the poop. It's fine by me. And then we'll go to sleep. I don't know when my, where my, when and where, when and where my stuff comes in, my payment or my shipping. Maybe it comes in the mail. I might have to go check the post office. Yeah, sleep till half five. That's fine by me. But I might have some mail. You never know. Oh, it's still raining. Nice. So it, it doesn't just change, you know. What are you? Potatoes! There was only four of them though. So I reckon I need to turn at least three of them back into seeds. Maybe even all four. But that was always the idea with the potatoes. I wonder why they haven't um, watered. Hmm. Is the rain going to stop? Oh, they watered. Nice. They were going to water at six in the morning, apparently. Okay, that's fine by me. So. I'm going to extend these out to being like eight, eight wide, I think. Yeah, this is super good now because I'm getting I'm getting things back and it's making I'm able to like expand out and eventually this is going to be really good. Oh no. I put them in the wrong place. Oh, well, never mind again. Again, I'm just growing them wherever at the moment because eventually what will happen Hopefully they'll water. Oh yeah. There must be a tick every few seconds. Eventually what will happen is I will harvest them all at the end of the season. And uh, plant entirely new things for the summer. So at that point hopefully I'll have a bit more money. So yeah, I don't have much money at the moment. So I'm going to go check and see if there's any mail for me in the post office. That normally comes through at about 8 o'clock. By the time I get down there, it'll probably be about the right time. What's in here? There's like all these different people's houses and everything. It's so cool. Oops. Ah. Make sure I'm still recording. I maybe need to put this into full on like windowed mode or something. Just so I don't like put pull my mouse out of the window. It's useful to be able to do that actually. Just gotta be a bit more careful with my mouse. Hello coconuts. Be a little tricky to pick them up. Let's head to the post office and see if there has been any like payment for my shipping or anything like that. It, it looks like there's something here, so hopefully that's what we do to get our money for our shipping. Oh gosh, there's loads of stuff. Okay, fish prep station. Greetings, true believer and farmer. I hope you've been taking advantage of the fishing here at the beach. I was thinking you might be needing a fish prep station soon. You can use it to turn raw fish into fish fillets that can be used in cooking or sold for profit. Ship about 50 fish and I'll make one available in my shop. Nice. So is that in my journal now? No. Interesting. Here's your payment for the last shipment, 74. Not too bad. 
Congratulations on completing a farm quota task for spinach. A hundred. Nice. Hello, it's your dear Nana. I hope you're earning enough money. When I used to farm, it was hard to make money because crops don't exactly sell for very much. Maybe you can see if the town has a local community board. Maybe you can make some extra money and friends by helping the residents with their errands. Take care of yourself. Ooh, I'll have to see if there's one, yeah. And here's your payment for the last shipment again, 101. Oh, so we've got loads of money now. Look at us with 293. Not enough to pay my debt off yet. But it's fine. Let's speak to Zarita again. And Ash, actually. I should speak to people while I'm out and about. Again? What's up? I don't know, but extra friendship is great. Hey, buddy. I moved down here because I hoped the tropical environment would help with the stress of the job. It didn't. It just made it hotter and less air-conditioned. Poor old Ash. Okay, so what's next on the journal? Visiting the furniture store again. Okay. Hopefully I can do all of these uh, in the next few minutes. Around the corner there. Who's this? Hello, Jade. Ah, new face. I'm Jade, owner of the Thirsty Pelican. You can be on your way now, Cookie. Oh, nice to meet you. Who are you? Rosario, welcome to Wahoo Beach, Shorty. Hope you have lots of fun here. Oh, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Rosario. I'm the hairdresser here at Wahoo Beach. Hairdresser, yes. Oh, your hair's just calling out to me to do all kinds of crazy things with it. Hit me up if you want to change your style. Okay, I will. This sounds all amazing. Righty ho then. So, Jacqueline. Want to visit you again, apparently. Let's talk about crafting, pudding. You can make all kinds of custom furniture with different materials and wallpaper if you have a crafting bench. Let's try out making something out of wood. Here's... Sorry, here. Take these logs and process them into planks over there at that sawmill. Talk to me when you're done. Okay. Process. I like the processing here. The fact you've got this little inventory to do it. Um, it's a lot easier than some other games where you don't have that inventory uh, UI. It just feels neat. Feels very neat. Nice. Now check over my crafting bench over there. There are a few blueprints for different things, but find something you can make with the amount of wood you have. I recommend a chair or an end table. Talk to me when you're done. Learned how to make a basic end table. Left click and drag to move the camera. Okay. Craft. Basic end table, that's fine. Assemble! I like the fact that there's different difficulties. I imagine the, the more um, skilled you are, the bigger, the larger that line gets, but the more difficult the item, the smaller that gets. Made it. Sweet. You got this, Puddin. That's how you do it, Puddin. You can craft all kinds of things and colours you probably won't find in my store. You can experiment and sell what you make for a pretty penny if that's how you want to earn some extra money. All right, you can buy a crafting bench at the home improvement shop from Duante. I need mine for my work, so you won't be able to use it. Don't worry, he'll hook you up. Okay, cool. I need to catch 50, 50 fish and then I get that fishing bench. Right, next. Home improvement shop. Again, processors. Ah, 
Ah, just around the corner. Fantastic. It shouldn't take long to get all of these quests up. Oh, out of the way. Okay. Oh, you definitely... Sorry. Oh, you know what you should definitely get? Processors. They enable you to process all kinds of things into other things that you can use in things that you can sell for more things. All right. Here, let me bring out my cheese processor for you to try out. Okay. So that's my cheese processor. Here's pro cheese processor. Process. And all that milk I got earlier, I imagine. Collect. I made some cheese! Here, take this milk and stick it in the machine. Oh, I already did that. Um, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that again. I'll have two cheese. I will have two cheese. It's fine. I wondered, I wondered whether he expected me to have the milk already. I thought that maybe he just checked my inventory for something that I already had and then based it on that, but no. I already had milk. Now I have two cheeses. Ta-da! Easy piece of cheesy. Processors will cost some money, but they're worth it, trust me. Come see me when you want to get one. Will do. Will absolutely do, because that'll be really cool. So, next. I wonder if we can get those on credit as well. I don't really want to get stuff on credit, you know. <laughs> but I know that that'll probably be the most efficient way to play the game. So it's like, well. And they don't charge interest, seemingly, so that's good. Next. Let's find this dude. Uh, this way, apparently. Oh, he's in here. Okay. Get rid of the map. Hey, I want to show you how to fish around here. That's my last thing to do. Dude, let me tell you about fishing. It's an amazing way to earn some extra moolah while you're waiting for your crops to grow. Since we're by the ocean, we're going to have different fish than the ones you'll find in the lakes and rivers. So again, different stuff here to um, the, the other pumpkin map. Different fish will appear in different seasons as well, so if you're looking for a certain kind of fish, it may not be available all year. The quality of the fishing rod you use is mega important. The better the fishing rod, the faster you'll catch the fish and the less energy it'll take. Here, take this fishing rod and try fishing over at the dock. You need to stand on the edge of the dock towards the ocean to start fishing. You don't need to catch anything, just like try it out and talk to me when you're done. Okay. Thanks for the fishing rod. I see, so you left click to keep it up in the green. Okay, cool. We ha we gave it a go. We didn't catch anything, but uh, I'll have a practice at it. It looks like that last fish got away. Keep trying until you catch one. Click on water while holding fishing rod to fish. So we'll try again. I caught a lamprey. That wasn't too bad a fishing game, to be honest. Now I've worked it all out. Nice, you got something. You can have that fishing rod, but it's not great. You should go see Clara at the blacksmith shop and she'll hook you up with better fishing rods. But to get the really big fish, you may need to craft your own fishing rod out of special materials. Check out the library if you want to know which fish are available to catch each season. That's about it. Catch you later, dude. Library. Interesting. I wonder if that's like where my collections are all based. So, we just got to work on the uh, farming quota now. Cool. We've done the spinach. We still have the jalapeno, a bit of the sugar cane, lentils, cucumber. They're all planted though. And uh, chicken, egg and milk we're not going to be able to do for a little while. So, that's fine. But I think we have spent enough time on this episode. We've done all of the seeing of people now. And so it's now just a case of getting down to some really good farming. Um, 
working on getting processes, working on paying off our debt, um, working on our relationships with people, and uh, just everything else, really. I mean, there's probably a lot of people that I haven't even met yet. Let's have a little look around here, shall we? Look at all those people I haven't met yet. That is actually quite daunting. That's way more than... Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's about the same amount of people as Porsche. That's, maybe, that's at least 50, 60 people to, to check and to get... And to get friendly with, oh, wow. So we're already, you can see we're getting a little bit of a heart there with Masika. But this game is going to take many, many hours of my time, I can already tell. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Pumpkin Days, please subscribe. I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.